Hi everyone, this is David and this video is about uh, subtitle edit 3.6.8 that is going to be released soon uh, and this version has a lot of new features like the option to use front center audio channel uh, uh, there is added support for opt optical character recognition OCR via Google's Cloud Vision API and then the speech recognition via Whisper I'm really excited about this uh, and I've not managed to get it to work on subtitle edit the beta version I'm not sure what point I'm missing uh, maybe somebody who knows what I'm missing uh, can let us know and then there is the NOCR option to batch convert and then there's OCR for selected lines there's dictate so now uh, the creator Nicolaj uh, wants everybody to uh, just give it a test run let us know if they find bugs. Only bugs are accepted until 3.6.8 is released sometime later this month or maybe early next month, but I believe it's uh, later this month. So I'll leave the link below uh, to GitHub so that you can go check it out. Uh, but I'll just fire it up here. Uh, this is the beta version help. And I believe I'm not on the latest beta version, but uh, this is still the beta version. Now, uh, the speech recognition via Whisper. Uh, that is uh, some groundbreaking news that uh, OpenAI's uh, Whisper was released to the public for free and I've managed, uh, I believe, to get it to work via is it the Google Collab Workspaces? But for the life of me, I cannot get it to work uh, on subtitle edit. I wish it did. It supports over a hundred languages for transcription and you can translate any language. Uh, I'm not sure if it works inside subtitle edit you can translate any language into English at the time of recording this video. Now, if you use the other different places like command line, uh, I believe the collab, uh, Google collab spaces, etc. So uh, remember how we use uh, the view escape models uh, like go to video, audio to text, voice call Kaldi. Now we have the audio to text via whisper. So if you click on this, you get the same uh, interface right here. I've managed to do almost everything. So the only thing missing right now is for this to actually work as it should. Uh, you can choose your language. Over 100 languages are supported. And it's good to see that we also have, for me, Swahili is available. Really awesome. And then uh, this is how Whisper works. A couple of models. You'll need to download uh, the model that you want. Just click here. And then you choose whatever model that you want. And you'll see the different sizes available right here. Now, the bigger the model, the better the result, but the more time it takes uh, to automatically transcribe. And it's taking a lot of time with the bigger models. With the small models, from what I've seen online, it's taking a shorter time. And I did test it out uh, for a 30 second clip uh, or a minute clip with uh, the tiny models. It's really, really fast. Punctuation is on point. It's really, really awesome. But for the life of me, I cannot get it to work in subtitle edit. So if anybody out there has managed to get it work on subtitle edit, can you document the process for us so that I clearly find out what I'm doing wrong, especially if you're on Windows. Uh, so this is what happens. So I choose English, this audio is in English, and then I go for the tiny model. And you can use post processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation and more, and then click on generate. It's doing that shows you that and then gives you the error of no text found really really nasty but when you look down here you'll see like there's something going on in the background if i click ok there's nothing i don't know if there's something going on in the background i don't know if i'm not patient enough but i've not managed to get a result from using uh the speech recognition or the audio to text option using whisper so if anybody has managed to get it work I'd really appreciate because uh, the way you use the audio to text VSK should be the same. Just click on generate, loads the VSK speech recognition model, and then starts transcribing the audio to text. That's the expected result that we expect, uh, but it's not working. Why? I don't know. Uh, so you can actually now see when we do this uh, with the VSK, you actually see this particular uh, progress uh, on subtitle edits icon on the uh, down there uh, but if anybody has managed to get whisper to work on subtitle edit 
kindly document the process for us, including installing uh, is it Python, Git, uh, Whisper, whatever, uh, everything is required because I feel that this is a game changer, especially when it comes to automatic audio uh, and video transcription, especially for people on a budget and you don't want to spend any money and you want to do it on your computer. So uh, this is the VSK. This is what I expect uh, uh, Whisper to do as well when we do the same process. Uh, cancel, but it's not working. So those are some of the few things that are coming up in uh, uh, the release 3.6.8 of uh, subtitle edit. Uh, go test them out. And if somebody has managed to get a speech recognition via Whisper to work, kindly let us know how you've done that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.